All right, uh, we've got problems out there. We've got a brush fire that's burning in Idlewild. Mm -hmm. The weather conditions playing a big part. Let's check in with Craig now to see what's going on. Yeah, take a look at this, Lena and Juan. Look at these clouds. So the fire down low, you can see the dark smoke coming up from the clouds. There's some monsoon coming up from the south. So once they hit this level here, the LCL, lifting level of condensation, where all the moisture is, each of those little particles grabs onto the, some of the moisture. Then you get the towering cumulus up above it. Those will produce their own fire, or their own weather, rather, in the form of showers and thunderstorms eventually uh, and some of this is already producing some lightning so I want to show that to you on the radar and then we'll get to some record heat you were just talking about here's a look at the radar over the past several hours you see a few scattered showers producing lightning over the San Bernardino mountains but let's go right into Riverside here's where we go here's Idlewild right here and there's a few lightning strikes that were just popping up a few moments ago most of the energy you saw was just uh, right to the south of there as well as I step over to this direction you're gonna see a couple of lightning strikes pop up over the past Last a few images right there. A couple of lightning strikes. So we're watching this closely as well. Some of the rain, of course, would help out. However, the lightning strikes could make it a problem for some of those aircrafts to get up and really start attacking the fire as well. 102 in Van Nuys, 109 in San Bernardino, 105 in Riverside. And yes, we set some records today. The one that fell so far, Woodland Hills, came in just a moment ago, 109. The old record is 107. We tied two records, Oxnard at 85 and Palmdale at 109. We're going to just have some very slow cooling as we go through the weekend. I wish we had better news, but it's going to take some time to really cool down. All of the red you see here is going to be excessive heat warnings. They have now been extended to Friday. They were going to expire Thursday evening. They've been extended to Friday now, especially for most of the interior locations, the mountains and the high desert. Through the basin and right into Orange County along the coast, we'll have excess or the heat warnings in place. Look at how widespread this is. This is a big deal for the West. All of the red you see here, excessive heat warnings extending for a good portion of Arizona through Las Vegas. And then you mentioned Northern California. They've also got those from Sacramento up throughout the valley as well. Chance for some showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, and it looks like the heat will be with us. We also have a high surf advisory through 9 p.m. today for going out there later today, and some fog along the coast, believe it or not. So, temperatures along with the coast with the fog in place, only 77 degrees, will stay there throughout the weekend, remaining hot for the LA and OC metro areas into the 90s. And yes, I put a chance for showers and thunderstorms for everyone on a Monday. Very slight chance, but we could see that happen. Uh, highs will slowly cool down. Lena and one. Triple digits through the weekend and into next week. Just take your time. It's going to be another long stretch for us. Yeah, seems never ending. Craig, thanks.